Each state governor will get at least 60 trucks, irrespective of political party. Godwill Akwabio speaks. The Senate President of Nigeria, Senator Godwill Akwabio, addressed the pressing issue of food insecurity and market exploitation of consumables during the Senate session. While contributing to a motion raised by Senator Sunday Karimi, Senator Akwabio announced significant measures aimed at addressing agricultural challenge across the country. He revealed that all state governors, regardless of their political affiliation, would receive a substantial supply of fertilizer to aid in agricultural productivity. According to Premium Times, Senator Pabu disclosed that this initiative was communicated by the Senate Committee Chairman on Agriculture. Each day's governor will receive at least 60 trucks of fertilizer, demonstrating the nationwide efforts to boost food production. To ensure equitable distribution, senators will receive two trucks of fertilizer, equating to 1,200 bucks. Some members of the House of Representatives will receive one truck or 600 bucks. This distribution plan is intended to allow senators and representatives to support their constituents effectively. Senator Akwabi emphasized that this information was backed by the Deputy Senate President and stressed the importance of non-partisan support for agricultural development. The initiative aims to mitigate the food insecurity problem by providing necessary sources, necessary resources for enhanced agricultural output. By ensuring that every state benefits from this program, the Senate seeks to foster a more resilient and self-sufficient agricultural sector. In a related development, Senator Salihu Mustafa, representing Kwara State Central Senatorial District, provided further insight into the logistic logistical challenges faced in the delivery of the fertilizers. He explained that delays were encountered due to security concerns due, raised by the National Security Advisor, NSA. The movement of fertilizer truck was halted to address these security impl impl implications underscoring the importance of ensuring safe and secure distribution. Senator Mustafa reassured the Senate that these issues were being resolved and that the S NSA office and was actively working, that the NSA's office was actively working to clear the trucks for delivery. He projected that once clearance was obtained, all states will receive the allocated fertilizer supplies by the upcoming weekend. This assurance aims to elevate any concerns regarding the timely distribution of agricultural inputs. The comprehension approach, the comprehensive approach outlined by Senators Akpabi and Mustafa reflect a concerted effort by the Nigerian government to tackle food insecurity through strategic resource allocation. Hear him, he said, and I quote, This is from the Senate Committee Chairman on Agriculture, not from Senator Akpabi, that irrespective of political party, each state's governor will get at least 60 trucks. And the reason they are giving the senators two trucks is because some of the senators and the House of Reps member, it is important that you also have something to share with your constituent. Your own will be two trucks, that is 1,200 bags of fertilizers, and the House of Reps member will be one truck, 600 bags of fertilizers. This information is from the Senate Committee on Agriculture Chairman and then backed up by the Deputy Senate President. Why is it that these people are not understanding what is going on? Now, I'm not saying that, uh, <laughs> yeah. see, uh, after me studying whatever is going on in Nigeria, how things, how plans have failed, most especially giving out to people, you will see people coming online to tell you that the government promised them something, they don't receive them. Let's say, for instance, that 35,000 naira, is it 35 or 25,000 government they pay them, so they give people that 75k for three months, nothing. That money is the entire inside one person hand. The one the government that won't tell me say no no. Say one person and corner that money. Now just few people, they just go around. Make it be like say then give people and you show me say they don't give the people the twenty-five thousand naira. Hmm? Or people will then give them. You understand that people will be saying nah, if they if you check them, he did related just few people. Anything called sharing, giving to the public, make it reach them. You know they reach the public. I don't know whether these people know they see, they know they take, they know they're proactive. Fine, you won't even give fertilizer. Say the fertilizer and then go end for scarcity. 
Now you go deal with insecurity, food insecurity. Then you go make this farmer headers crisis stop. So now you go make fuel be very affordable so that transportation costs go reduce. A lot of things they involve for this food issue. A whole lot. Fine. Yes, these fertilizers are great. But I can put it to you that this thing no go reach anywhere. You understand? People will need them. They no go see them collect. Now me they tell you. Now me they tell you now. People will need this thing. But the real farmers will need them. They no go see them collect. So even if they see them collect, you no go even reach anything. Some people now go use and do. Then go use and do my friend, my friend. I say make I give you this one. Yes, no. Look inside this country with day. People say, oh, they you from from Yash. Make I use, make I sorry for that word, but I suppose to come with the from Yash. The reason with the reason, like in fact, so me, yeah, it is good, but to me, it's all a wasted effort. I can tell you already that it's a wasted effort. Yes, just like giving out money to people is a wasted effort to make the economy do okay. Nigerians will never really talk, say, we want money, I they tell you. Make everybody day okay. Once everybody day okay, Nigerians we are not lazy. Even though say don't get one governor, we come. Come stand for nationality, we call us lazy. But we are not lazy people. We are not. Let government import food items, even if I give farmer fertilizer, they wouldn't reduce the price of Yeah. So to me it's wasted effort. Wasting effort. The money where they invest in this thing, you know say they go corner money. Money where they use invest, maybe more than half. Then go corner up. even more than the full money safe. Then go corner up. So what are you now saying? Once you give fertilizer, fertilizer will go end up with people will be sending friends and family of these people instead of the hands of people we need them. Criminal state governor and always always sell those fertilizer. Oh, they often share it among their friends and relatives. God will bless you. That is why the poor farmers in rural village never get anything from the federal government. It's not like these people don't know. They know these things. That is why I will keep saying that if there is any government I'm disappointed in this administration. Because you don't know. You don't see how things they plan out. You see how things pan out and yes, you keep making the same mistake. And you are telling us that you are doing something about a predicament. You are not. You just did here the waste your time. You did it the waste time. If you waste time, finish. You waste time, finish. You, you, you come up for the make another person when you're they do enter. These things are all things that they know. They know that if they share it, it will never get to the people. Never. This is not a matter of all those people they stand, they waste their time now for their pockets. These people can never. I've told you guys. They can never do things that are going to, that is going to work for me and you. That is going to benefit me and you. It doesn't work that way. That is why I'm telling us to wake up. We could know they sleep. We should stop fighting each other and wake up so that we can actually do the right thing. All right, and this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you win next time. Enjoy.